Today we're going to learn how we could line up our baseline grid with the grid that we might have made using Create Guides. This can often be uh, very frustrating. So you can see over here, these gold lines, these are created with the Create Guides feature. I changed the color to gold to make them a little easier to see. And you can see here's my baseline grid. So uh, let's start from scratch and see how I did this. Okay, I have another document here. These are just the regular default settings. I'm on my master page. So like I said, we're going to make 13 rows. Now, how did I come up with that? Well, it's sort of a convention that we create our rows and columns based on the aspect ratio of the document we're going to create. So we're creating an 8.5 by 11 document. So the aspect ratio is 1.3. So that's 11 divided by 8.5 comes out to be 1.3. So that would be 13 rows and 10 columns. So I've also decided that I want three lines per row. So we have, let's figure out what we're going to need here. So let's go over here. So we have uh, 13 rows times three, three lines each equals 39. Now, if you have 13 rows, you're also going to have 12 gutters. So we have to add 12 to that. That gives us 51. Okay, so now for my document, I decided I want to use 12-point letting. So we have to multiply the 51 by 12. So we'll do times 12 equals 612. Okay, so now to figure out the top and bottom margins... Uh, we have to subtract 612 from 792. So 792 is, is the dimension of the page. So let's do 792 minus, uh, we call the memory, equals 180. So well, this case, we'll split it evenly, top and bottom. So that means my top and bottom margins are going to be 80 points. Okay, so let's go to our margins and columns. And let's put in our margins. So we need eight, uh, 90 for the top and 90 for the bottom. So also notice this lock is not locked. Okay, so there's our margins, top and bottom. Okay, now let's go to create guides. Create guides. Like I said, we want 13 rows. Uh, we're not going to do the columns yet because it'll make the page less confusing this way. Uh, and then we only care about within the margins. So we'll say, okay. So there's our rows. Uh, now, the other thing, we have to set up our baseline grid. So as I said, I want 12-point letting. So let's go to my baseline grid. So we'll go to Preferences, Control-K or Command-K on the Mac. Uh, we'll go to grids. So I've already set this up. So this is what we want. Uh, we want to start at zero relative to the top margin. And since our letting is 12 points, increment every 12 points. Uh, I'm going to leave the grids in the back. I think it'll be easier to see. Let's see. Say OK. Uh, now let's turn them on. So I like to turn them on using this little icon over here on the toolbox. There's the shortcut if you want to remember that. And there we go. So let's take a look. So there you go. So you can see my baseline grid matches up perfectly with the grid I made with Create Guides. And now if you want to put your columns in, uh, you, can, you can use the... Uh, create guides if you like, or you could just use margins and columns if you like. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use margins and columns. And I'll put in 10 columns. And the gutter is also going to be 12 points. Okay, so there you go. Okay, let's test it out with some text. So I'm on the document page right now. Uh, Make a nice big text box over here. Fill it with placeholder text. I've already created a paragraph style that's using Adobe Garamond. 10 points is the size and 12 points is the letting. And I also set it to 
align to the baseline grid. So let's apply that paragraph style. There we go. Uh, now let's come in and check it out. Okay, so now you can see everything is great. So you see my baseline grid is aligned with my the grid that I created using uh, Create Guides, and my text is lining up. So everything is just great. So let's check the bottom. Let's make this go all the way. Now that it has the style applied to it, fill with placeholder text. There we go. So you see it works out right to the bottom. So I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.